Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely T 2002. Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely T 2002. Hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. All right, so I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Monday, and welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. So I want to come on here and talk about all the drama that's been trending all day today. I've been keeping abreast of that on top of all the stuff that's happening internationally, but I definitely want to come on here and talk about all the drama that's going on with the baby, Tory Lanez. T.I. and I guess little Nas X somehow got dragged into this, okay? So what went down is yesterday, I was basically minding my own business. And I seen the baby and Tori trending on um, social media. And so when I saw why he was trending, I couldn't number shake my head. If y'all do not know, the baby literally snuck Tory Lanez into Rolling Loud, honey. He basically snuck this little man into a Trojan horse, honey, like they were the Greeks, You know what I'm saying? And they were trying to sneak into Troy. Shout out to everybody who got the joke I posted on Instagram, honey. There were a few slow people who didn't understand what the fuck I was talking about. Whatever. But what I wrote on Instagram, I said, the baby snuck Tory Lanez into Rolling Loud like the Greeks snuck into Troy. And then I said, I've been over this situation. I don't care one way or another. But shout out to Megan Stan who threw that Adidas shoe. Good try, but sadly, the baby got matrix-like reflexes, so you weren't going to hit him from that far away. So if y'all don't know, this is the video that went viral yesterday, and basically, it's the baby, and he has Tory Lanez underneath this costume. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I'll get somebody out here a million dollars if they can guess who in here. I got a million dollars right now if you can guess who. Photon, Stunner, who you think? Who? 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 I know who that is. I know who the fuck that is. Let's go. Let's go. Bounce. 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 Special two. Who the fuck threw that motherfucking busted ass goddamn Adidas? All right, y'all see them hopping around looking like two little toddlers on stage. And then out of nowhere, somebody throws an Adidas shoe at him, honey. And he ducked it by the skin of his teeth. And so that went viral. A lot of people said it was a Megan Thee Stallion um, stand who did it. You know, I was here for it. I thought the shit was funny. So I thought that was the end of it. I didn't think anything else. Like I said, I didn't feel one way or another because... I don't think the baby owes Megan any loyalty because Megan herself has no loyalty. (laughs) Acts Asian doll. Okay. So I really don't care about him working with Tory Lanez. It is what it is. Um, Megan is doing her own thing. She has a Grammy, so she really shouldn't care either. Long story short, the baby then went on to, I guess, talk to his fans, honey. And he just went to be like really rude with it. Like, I mean, kind of came out of left field. You know, I miss the days when... Our hip hop artists would be like, hey, just wave your hands in the air. Wave like you just don't care. If you got more than $5 in your pocket, let me hear you say, oh yeah, oh yeah. (laughs) I guess that was back in my day, honey. Not these new rappers. In his clip, he's up here talking about pull out your cell phones if you didn't show up here today with HIV, AIDS, and any other deadly sexually transmitted disease that'll make you die in two, three weeks. Then he goes on to say, ladies, if your pussy smells like water, put a cell phone light up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, put a cell phone light up. Keep it real. I'm like, what the fuck kind of like, what? How is this supposed to hype up the crowd? So anyways, y'all go ahead and look at this video. This dude is a trip. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone light in the air. Lady, if your pussy smell like water, Put his cell phone light in the uh. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone lights Let's in the Let's be uh. real about this shit. Yeah, keep it fucking real. Some of y'all niggas suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. All right, y'all just saw the baby, honey, calling himself, trying to hype up the crowd. I'm like, I don't know how 
saying things like that was meant to hype up the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Put your cell phones up if you don't have HIV AIDS. You know what I'm saying? Put your cell phones up if you're not in the parking lot sucking dick. Like, come on, bro. You know, again, maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm, I'm maybe I'm too old, honey. I don't get it. All I know, during my generation, everybody would yell, just wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Oh, yeah, that's the shit that we did. But I guess, honey, but it seemed like a lot of people in this generation were also not feeling what the baby did. They were not here for it. And they took it as, you know, major disrespect because, again, you never know people's statuses. OK, gay, straight, black, white, whatever. You don't know somebody's status and a fan is a fan. So I thought it was kind of ignorant for him to say that. And some people, you know, end up getting HIV through no fault of their own. Sometimes it's because a lot of y'all guys be out here cheating and fucking everybody raw. <coughs> the baby. <coughs> Nick Cannon, you know, the shit that y'all brag about in y'all's music. Lucky for y'all, it's only been the birth of a child. But for some women, they have contracted HIV because their man was out here running the streets willy nilly with the dick. OK, so you're offending a group of people who some have come into that disease and it wasn't technically their fault. So he received a lot of backlash for this on social media. They weren't liking it. They started dragging him. And then nobody, nobody at all. Here comes T.I. with his damn cape on to basically cape for the baby. And T.I. says, if little Nas X can kick his shit in peace, so should the baby. Hashtag equality. I'm like, equality? That's a strange way of connecting that to equality. Now, let me say this. I'm no fan of little Nas X. But with that being said, I definitely see the hypocrisy, how a lot of people are coming for him. You know, T.I. should have, I think what T.I. meant to say, honestly, was if Lil Nas X can be openly gay, then we can be openly homophobic. Because that's the kind of vibe I got from what he was saying. Because what the baby was saying is not kicking his peace. First of all, you're disrespecting people who have an illness, you know, like HIV and AIDS. But also, you're also he also tried to say that he wasn't talking about gay people. But I'm confused. He says, fellas. If you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, if a fella is in the parking lot sucking dick, I'm assuming he's gay because, you know, if he was straight, he'd be in the parking lot eating kitty cat. But maybe I'm tripping. OK, so even though he didn't say gay, that's what he meant when he said fellas sucking dick. I'm, did I miss something? Did it go over my head? You know, so it's been a lot of back and forth. All of a sudden, Amber Rose asked, I ain't seen her since she got that stupid ass tattoo on her forehead. She came running out of nowhere to state her piece. Let me go ahead and read to y'all what Amber Rose had to say about the situation, honey. She wasn't here for it, and she wasn't here for what T.I. had to say. So Amber Rose says, what in the homophobia? Y'all are so mad at Little Nas X winning. To be this homophobic feels like they are battling something internally. This is not equality. This is hatred, period. Then she goes on to say, I'm an activist, first and foremost. This is why I started my slut walk for everyone to come and feel comfortable in their own skin. This perpetuates hate and violence. I stand with the LGBTQ community. We should all feel safe at a concert, no matter what our status is, who we love, and who we're going to give head to. So that's what Amber had to say. Y'all know Amber's a mess, honey. So she threw them shots at T.I. You know, like I said, I wasn't feeling T.I.'s response. I don't even know why T.I. got involved. Especially, you know, per all them people that have been talking about him and Tiny. Per the accusers in the T.I. and Tiny case, there was a lot of accusations of girl and girl sex. But again, a lot of these guys, they're here for the girl on girl sex. They're here for the lesbianism. It's the male gays that they're not here for. You know what I'm saying? Which is hypocritical because gay is gay. Okay. But now T.I. decided to come out and speak about the situation and, and you know, state his peace. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys what T.I. had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I guess, you know what I'm saying, social media is full of confusion. And words are often misconstrued. And to be honest with you, if, if, if homosexuals have more rights than heterosexual people, just say that. If homosexuals have more rights than heterosexual people, then just say that. Let's let that be the law. Is that the law? I just, because I feel like I respect, I respect gays, especially the ones who have the courage and the bravery 
to step out and live in their truth. You know what I mean? I respect that. I think any human being, man, walking this earth who has the bravery and the courage to live their truth unapologetically, I respect that. But that, I, I respect it the same way if you're a heterosexual person. I respect I respect it the same way. So I don't even see what, uh, what all the hoopla about. Some of y'all motherfuckers just be up in arms and fake caring about shit just because you ain't got shit else going on in your life for real. You dig? Ain't nothing in the world going to make me hate nobody just because they do something different in the bedroom than I do. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Zero. Give a damn what you doing. What you dick. Or your ass. Or something. Or your, or your, other, your genitalia. Your period. I don't give a damn. Fuck I care. Who asked me? Who asked you, motherfucker? You on my motherfucking life. What is you talking about? Ask me, motherfucker. You motherfucker feel like you can goddamn get on here and goddamn express your opinions and say what the fuck you want to say, but because people are celebrities, they just want to shut the fuck up? Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, it's just not realistic, but like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of respect for motherfucker like look for uh, Lil Nas X and motherfucker like Frank Ocean, you know what I mean? Motherfucker who step out there and live their truth. Honest with themselves. You did. A lot of you motherfuckers out there hiding your truth. And that's that's the whole shit. That's what's not respectable. It, it, it wouldn't be the fact that you're gay, it would be the fact that you man, you out here front. Front like you ain't. If you is, be proud. Shit. Uh, and then I mean it seems as though, okay, what I want people to know. From my understanding is you get the energy that you put out there, okay? You get the energy that you put out there. I don't care who it is, like from from a male dominated society that put out a whole bunch of energy like that, you're gonna get the opposite, equal opposite energy in return. And and, and, and that's why that's why you have, you know what I'm saying, such a strong feminist movement. It's gonna be uh, 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 overly Directed in the area of feminism because of all the years that it was overly masculine. You get the energy. You get the energy you put out there. You can't make me homophobic because I'm proud to be a heterosexual. You can't make nobody homophobic because they, just because I am proud of what I am don't make me hate what you are. Period. Period, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, you can't got. Ain't no way to tangle or twist that, bro. Ain't no way to tangle or twist that. Ain't no hate. Ain't no hate in that, bro. If I'm proud to be black, that don't make me hate you because you white. If I'm proud to be a man, that don't make me hate you because you a woman. Period. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, the little Nas X shit, the performances and video. Man, I got a lot of respect for bro because, I, like I said, he had, you know, he had the courage to live his truth. But that shit ain't for me. It just ain't for me. I ain't got no bit of looking at it. I, don't, yeah, I just can't look at it. It ain't for me. Right? But I feel the same way. And I don't want my children seeing it either. I don't want my children seeing it. You know what I mean? Because their minds haven't, haven't, haven't developed to the, to the place where they can wrap their minds around those type of experience and those types of uh, visual presentations and know how to sort it out within their, their, their perception. You dig? But I feel the same way about the WAP video. I actually enjoy the WAP video a little bit better, but I still feel the same way. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. But if you're going to have a WAP video, you're going to damn sure have a little Nas X video. And if you're going to have a little Nas X uh, 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 video and him living his truth, you're going to damn sure have people like the baby who going to speak their truth. And it ain't nothing wrong with none of it. Ain't no, it ain't got to be no hate. It's all honesty. It's all honesty. Everybody living in their truth. And if you can live in your truth and be honest with yourself and present yourself to the world as you are, then I got to respect that. Period. So I want everybody, man, to be peaceful, prosperous, live in your truth, be honest with yourself, and don't let nobody take you off of that. You dig what I'm saying? And fuck who don't like it. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.